Hi, I'm Mark Fowle, and this is my buy behaviour vlog. In this vlog, I'll be speaking about recent purchases I have made and the decision making process behind them. I'll be linking this to marketing theories I've learned throughout the, the, the duration of my course. Marketing theories help me understand the rational behind consumer uh, spending behaviours. These purchases made by the consumer can be segmented into three different, three different types. You have one routine. These are purchases which are habitual. There's no rational behind, there's no necessity behind them. They buy them because they like them. Secondly, you have extended problem solving. This is where the extended issues need extended solutions. So this will be like housing needs a house. You have no mobility, so you need to buy a car. And then finally, you have limited problem solving. Limited problem solving is when short-term solutions need short-term problems. The latter, however, rel relates most to my recent purchase, which was a N95 mask. The N95 mask protects me against any airborne particles which may pose a risk to me. This isn't habitual. This, po this process, sorry, this purchase was made out of necessity for a short-term issue. If I was to link a marketing theory to this, it would be Everett Rogers' theory of social diffusion. Dr. J, Dr. Dr. Wayne Leonard explains the theory of diffusion is segmented into five separate parts. You have the smallest and earliest demographic, which are innovators. These are people who produce the mask, adapt the, adapt new uh, adapt new ways to produce the mask. These are people who improve the mask. These are the first people to develop and use the product. Secondly, you have the early adopters. These are people where they don't need as much evidence, they're open to change opportunities, and they use the product just behind the innovator. Third, you have early adopters. These are people where they use the product before the general consumer, however, they need evidence to be provided that the product is worth them buying, and they need to be coaxed into it. Then you have the late majority. These are people when they'll only use it when the mass majority have tried and tested the product. They need firm and solid research. And finally, you have laggards. These are people who are strictly conservative. They're skeptical of new products. They're very traditional. They'll only use what they're comfortable with and they won't adapt. This relates heavily to my purchase as I, as I knew the later majorities like the laggards would oppose a, thrisk, a risk to myself and others. So by me being an early adopter, I was able to use this mask, give myself the protection I needed. And this is only a short term lifestyle change to minimize risk. Another purchase of mine was hand sanitizer. I've always used the product. However, I currently ran out and the consumer decision making, I, I can implement the consumer decision making model into my purchase. Bernard J. Jansen explains that the buying funnel is a staged process that each consumer takes in order to buy, purchase a product or service. At the top, you have awareness, cautions. Uh, this is this is where you there is an issue. You understand there is an issue. So for me, my hand sanitizer ran out. I needed another one. I had I was aware of the issue. Secondly, you have research. This is where you need to take in the contextual factors. Um, for me, the research was I found that the best protection against the virus was alcohol. So I needed a high alcohol concentration of, uh, need a high alcohol concentration hand sanitizer. So from that, I made my decision. So I decided how much alcohol concentration I needed, what quantity I needed, which brand. And then finally, at the bottom of the funnel, I made the purchase. In conclusion, these marketing theories are very relevant in my purchases, and these marketing theories help me understand the rational and provide an understanding of the consumer behaviour and my spending habits. Thank you for listening.